I have an 18 by 36 in-ground vinyl liner pool. I have had liner wrinkling and floating in the past. I installed a drain to remove groundwater from mid skimmer level down 12 inches. By my math, this leaves over 40,000 pounds of water weight upon the walls and liner at all times. My question is this, if I can maintain the proper water level at all times and my drain works perfectly at all times, will this keep enough pressure on the liner to keep it from floating? So I'm going to answer this in uh, several different ways, and I'm going to kind of go through my head on this one and, and try to just speak out loud about it. I'm assuming there's an assumption here that this drain you're talking about is behind the pool steel wall, behind the wall, in the concrete or in landscaping or somewhere that's 12 inches below the skimmer, opening of the skimmer. That will work as long, and here's, here's the as long part that, that I don't know exactly how to tell you to handle. But based on how, the, how it's backfilled and what the material in the backfill is, as long as groundwater can work its way around that wall to your sump where you're pumping the water out fast enough, if it can move pretty easily through that, whatever the backfill material is, then yes, likely that's going to be enough. However, here's what I've seen. I remember many, many, many years ago, the previous owner that owned the company before I bought it, so we're going, in my 30 some year career history here, we're going back 25 plus, if not more. We had a pool that the liner continued to float and the previous owner invested and talked this customer into having us dig down behind the pool wall and put a pump down there. It was, some, it was a specially made pump with a certain on off flow, whatever. And you would think it would work because it was all the way down at the footing, which is the footing is anywhere from the bottom of the pool is 42 inches down. So if there's six inches of footing, you're talking about 36, 38 inches of footing, 30, uh, you know, depth down. And we went all the way down, we put the pump in, pump kicked on, pump kicked off. As, as often as it needed to, but the liner still floated. And what was happening in this particular case, because the pool was backfilled with clay, water was building up in the clay all the way around. And it's that water that builds up behind the wall that puts pressure on the liner and floats the liner. And then when the liner resets, it ends up with wrinkles and it floats and sets and floats and sets. So as long as you're pretty assured that the water is from the cavity around the pool is always drained yes it will work if there's any issues at all that the water is not traveling around the pool itself and coming to your sump point uh, there's a chance that it will float again another case in point now that i'm thinking about it we had a pool many many years ago as well that had the same floating liner issue a real clay environment uh, when the landscapers came in behind this this we the previous owner's company, we, because I was part of the company at the time, were the builders of this pool. And they hired their own landscapers to build retaining between the pool and the house. And the landscaper did nothing for drainage. Again, this was, this was above my pay grade at the time. I wasn't involved in that at all. I was more of a service guy and, and I was a guy that worked on the technical part of things, but not so much in the construction. But when they had an issue, I was of course called in, so I got to diagnose it and the landscapers put in retaining walls with no drainage. And what happened was the water would shed off the house, run down behind the retaining wall, under the, the footing of the retaining wall, it was just a stone, it was a uh, landscape wall, so there wasn't a footing there. There was slag, packed, compacted slag, sand and stone. It would come through that, run between the concrete and the clay to the back of the wall and settle behind the wall boom, liner would float. So the only conceivable solution that anyone could come up with was to dig a hole under the patio and run a drain line. There was a low spot, run a drain line out, so to relieve that pressure. Well, again, because it was backfilled with clay, it would only allow that small section of water to drain, but the rest of the pool continued to float all the time. So 
unless you're pretty sure that you can drain that footing all the way around, uh, the sump won't always work. But if you think that you're getting a mass majority of that water that builds up behind the wall to that sump pump, then it will take care of it. So long and short of it is there's no easy solution to this. Uh, but I would look at all of the factors around where that water is potentially coming from and then kind of go from there.